An international state, a coalition of civil society organizations, has called on the Inspector General of Police, Usman al Khali Baba, to review his deployment of officers to the state governor elect in the interest of peace. Addressing journalists in Oshobo, the groups alleged that the two police officers deployed have many cases hanging on their necks and have been recommended for punishment for several human rights abuses by the Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Police Brutality. TVC News correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. Police, Isaac Omayeli, is said to have been deployed to the Osho State Governor-elect as his Chief Security Officer. The same officer who was alleged to have been fingered in several extrajudicial killings in and around the state was also alleged to have shot dead one Abidin Olalika in a day on Friday last week where this house was also burnt. At this press conference in Oshobo, the CSOs thanked the CP for disbanding his tactical cast squad, but warned members of the squad debriefed and those found culpable for extrajudicial killings and violation of human rights sanctioned. We are delighted with the disbandment of the you know, tactical squad that has become so notorious for right violation and all sort of assault on citizens in Osho State. The CSOs decry unnecessary loss of lives and destruction of property, which is now creating fear among residents. Four or five days ago, the whole of Agbesa was shot down by hoodlums who ordered people on that uh, axis to close shop. And it became a point of concern to people in the state that if some set of persons could hold the state or a particular section of the state to ransom, it could escalate. We demand that the police and other security agencies in the state collaborate to immediately arrest and bring to justice all known and unknown members of the violent groups responsible for the killings in the state. They want the report of Ocean State Panel of Inquiry on Police Brutality implemented to serve as deterrent to others. The Judicial Panel on Police Brutality, popularly called NSAS, the report is in the public domain. If you go to that report, I can confirm to you that of the five that have been deployed as aides to the governor-elect, two of them were recommended for one punishment or the other in that NSAS report. So it becomes an issue of concern to us. The State Commission of Police, Olawali Olokode, had promised to ensure thorough investigations into the allegations leveled against members of the tactical squad. In the last three weeks, insecurity seems to have assumed an alarming dimension in Ocean State. No fewer than six persons, including two non-state actors, were said to have lost their lives. Residents want governments and security operatives to be alive to their responsibilities if Ocean must continue to sustain our status as the most peaceful state in Nigeria. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Shibu.